Hi everybody, welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. So for today, we'll be looking at BlackBerry, AMC, and GameStop. So disclaimer first, prices will not reach 100,000. We are not advocating for it to reach the moon or the stars. We're just trading based on technical analysis and looking and breaking it down to see what are the buying opportunities coming into the market next week. So let's dive straight right in. What we have right now is BlackBerry. So we have a four hourly time frame where price action has broken past resistance, reached a high of $20, and we see a pullback and a consolidation in a descending triangle. So right now it is at a crucial support zone, and this support zone has last been touched back in February, and thus it's a very critical support zone that we need to pay attention to. So how well will this support zone hold? To answer that question, we need to look at the hourly time frame where we can get a clearer sense or a clearer picture of the descending triangle. So essentially a descending triangle is a very high probability setup of a continuation of the price action towards the upside. You can see the consolidation has been very nicely formed within this triangle and right now price action is within the end of its narrow range showing that there's a high probability of prices breaking out through the trend line. So ideally what would we like to see? I'd like to see a break of the trend line, a retest of the support zone along with the EMAs, and then a break towards the upside. Our price target for BlackBerry is $20, and if you would like, a stop loss of $13. So of course, this gives us a very favorable risk to reward setup, and we can monitor this going into the week ahead. If we want to look at the RSI as well, we can see that RSI has actually dropped, showing a loss in momentum. However, there is an increase in RSI a slight curve in it and ideally we like to see RSI above the 50 level and we pull the trade as well and we see high momentum into BlackBerry stock. So next up let's look at AMC. So in AMC we are at the hourly time frame and currently price action is trading at $49. So we can see that we are at the resistance zone and we are seeing if buyers can actually push prices past the resistance zone. A lot of people will be tempted to take the trade right now because right now we see a break of the triangle pattern and i would generally advise against this because essentially we we'll, should be more conservative in waiting for a cleaner break above the resistance zone a retest and then pull the trigger for the upside to reach a target of about 68 dollars the good thing about this amc setup so far is the rsi you can see the rsi making its way back above the 50 level and hopefully we can see a further increase in RSI to see continued momentum. So that's for AMC for the hourly time frame. If we look at AMC in the hourly time frame at the larger time frames, we can see as well that it's the same thing. We're actually reaching the resistance zone and prices are not making much headwinds further higher. So we really need to hold our horses and wait for price action to show further confirmation. So that's for AMC. If you look at GameStop, so for GameStop, looking at the four hourly time frame, we can see previously that there was divergence, meaning to say that there was higher highs in the price action and lower highs in the RSI. How price action has coincided with this divergence, see a drop in momentum and drop in price, and right now it is currently trading at $233 at its crucial support zone. For GameStop, I would say that if you are there to invest in the long term, you believe in a company, you believe that the short play has not been played out yet, you believe that there's a lot of short squeeze momentum that's going to come in, then you can look to hopefully enter at this price level and then wait for the right up. But however, if you're trading based on a technical analysis perspective, you'll be careful because currently there's some form of resistance overhead. You can see above the price action, there's EMAs that form some resistance. So ideally, we would like to see a cleaner break or a better consolidation pattern for GME. So currently for GME, I think we should hold it out first and then wait for a better bullish setup to continue. So in summary, I would favor BlackBerry among the three. I think right now we are at a very crucial support zone and I think BlackBerry has the potential to reach at the $20 target price. So if you felt that this video gave you much value, you can choose to like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out a ton. And also, if you do have any inflation fears, do remember to check out my inflation video on the general stock market as a whole in the video link, as you can see in the screen. So do remember to trade safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.